This is John from the Haunt Informer. This is Glenn from Fall Ritual. And this is the first episode of the Fall Informer. Each month, like two videos each month, and we're going to be talking about haunts even in the off-season. Because there's a lot to talk about in the off-season, for those who don't know. Um, there was a lot of things that happened during the off-season. You know, a lot of people think that's just, you know, haunt season starts in September and goes to November and whatever. And there are some that do, you know, are open during the off season, but there's a lot of work that is involved um, throughout the year. So uh, we're gonna try and talk about it year round um, and hopefully get some interviews with actors, owners, um, set designers, of special effect people, makeup artists, that would be great. Um, so this is kind of just an introductory video as to what we're uh, planning on doing with this. Yes, exactly. And there are mobile haunts that are going to be open for St. Patrick's Day soon. So one of them is Field of Screams in Malville, PA. And I know uh, Bennett's Curse down in Maryland, they'll be open. Um, I believe Brighton Asylum yes. uh, up in North Jersey will be open. Yes. Um, and these will all be opening up uh, for uh, this weekend for their uh, St. Patty's Day. Yeah, St. Patty's Day. Um, and they're also is going to be Haunted Hills Estate Screen Park up in Uniontown, over in Uniontown. Easter haunt with yes. some uh, killer Easter, Easter bunnies holding chainsaw, chasing people around. Yes. I think that yes. would be awesome. You yeah, know, that, but you know, so great. far there's no Easter, there's no Easter haunts. So far we don't know anything about that, but there could be, and we'll tell you if we know for sure. There could be, yes. Yeah. Um, but there is scheduled to be halfway to Halloween for sure. Some haunts are definitely gonna do that. Yes, yes. Um, to give people stuff to do um, during the off season, those who love to go to haunts, um, that just like doing it all year round. There's definitely some that are open, um, but you know, keep keep tuned to this uh, channel. I think this is going to hopefully this is going to be uploaded on both um, John's page and my page. Yes. Um, you can check his out on the uh, on former. You can check out mine on Fall Ritual. Okay. Um, Hopefully we can get up on both pages, so. Yes. And on social media, you can find me at The Haunt Informer on Facebook. And on Instagram, my username is haunt underscore informer. And on Twitter, it's at Haunt Informer. You can find me on Facebook um, at Fall Ritual. I have a page where you can add me as a friend and you can also like my page. Um, I'm rarely on it though. I'm more on Instagram, which you can find me there at Fall Ritual, all one word. Gotcha. Um, and the way I got in the haunt industry was I started watching a video all the way back in 2009. I watched a video of Chainsaw Guys at Field of Screams. And I thought as a kid that was interesting and fun. And I had to get into this and learn about it. How did you get into it? Uh, I got into, um, seriously, into the um, going to haunts, uh, maybe like early 2000s. Um, I went to Frightland for the first time, and that was like the first really big haunt I've, I've been to. Um, I loved it. Um, the multiple attractions, the carnival-like atmosphere, um, I just loved it. And then that was early 2000s, but I really didn't get into it until around 2008, 2009. That's when I started seeking out um, more haunts out there and, you know, seeing all the different places, seeing all of what, you know, haunts have to offer. Exactly. Um, the first haunt I went to was Bates Motel and Haunted Hayride back in 2010. And I got scared multiple times. I got scared by the chainsaw guy in the hayride. And I got scared by scarecrows on the haunted trail. So yeah. you, what scares did you get at your first haunted trail? <laughs> I remember going to Freightland the first time and just being like, this was such a huge Thing that I, I've never seen any of the stuff they were doing in there. I remember going on like that bridge, that tunnel, it's called like the vortex thing that spins around as you're walking on this bridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my mind was just blown. I'm like, this is the craziest thing I've ever walked through. Uh, the things they were doing there um, at Frightland, that was the first time I think I experienced the uh, claustrophobia bag. 
oh, do yeah. what you have to like push yourself through. I'm like, this place is nuts. Uh, what they're doing here again, it was my first one, so I'd never seen it before. Yeah. And uh that that hooked me. I was I was hooked. I was in. I was like, I gotta find more, you know, and exactly. Um, and for people that don't know what claustrophobia bags are, they temporarily temporarily were in a pause for last taunt season due to yes. safety. But um, they are two giant inflatable bags that will push in on you and you have to push your way out of it. It's freaking insane. <laughs> and you um, feel like it doesn't end. And, and you feel like it never ends. And, 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 and it's from the company Scare Products. You can check them out. Really? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I never, I never knew where it came yeah. from i just know your, that your uh, products makes them and they make them uh different sizes and they can make ones that are just on your waist called claustrophobia junior uh, okay i like that one because they they definitely use those in the uh the swamp yeah the laser swamps and it looks like you're kind of like going through like the water because you know you're yes yeah, it's a really cool effect laser swamps are awesome with that they pair really yeah. well yeah definitely um, oh. but Stay tuned to this uh, page, this yeah. channel. Like I said, hopefully it'll be on both of um, our pages. We're going to yeah. try and give you um, some uh, new uh, video content. Yes. Twice a month, hopefully. Yeah, um, twice a month, hopefully. And hopefully, hopefully with some interviews. That would be great if we yes. ask anyone out there yes. who yes. works in a haunt who, uh, who's watching this and be yeah, like, hey, I'd love to do comments. an interview. Drop your names in the comments or... Yeah, Dude, we would love to talk to you. You know, yeah. the actors, owners, yes. designers. I, I love, you know me, I love set designs. Yes. And how, you know, um, if you saw my uh, my first review for Bloodshed Farms, I was blown away um, yes. by the uh, set design of that place. So um, I, I don't think set designers get the credit they deserve. You know, a lot of people say it's... The actors in which actors are crazy, they, they are what make a haunt. Actors yeah. do make or break or a haunt, but uh, set designers for me, man, that's just what they do is unbelievable, to, you know, especially if you think outside of the box. Yeah, so definitely if you make creative, unique sets and you add layers to it, like if you look mm -hmm. at the layers of sets and haunt attractions, normally if you actually stop and look at it, there's like all kinds of grime on the walls and it's insane what they do. It is, and, and like I said, if you think outside of the box, that sets your haunt apart from all the other haunts. You know? Yeah, because every haunt has the different tropes that we're used to, like, you know, everyone has a clown, everyone has an asylum, different yep. things like that. But it's nice when you take a trope in the horror industry, but then you expand upon it and you do something different. Yep. Like when Night of Terror did a clown scene, but they had the laser swamp on the edge. That was really cool. Yeah, it's just how you how you work it. You know, if you're gonna have the same, like you said, the same trope, it's how you execute it. Um, so hopefully we can get some, uh, you know, interviews with set designers and people who owners who really think outside outside of the box and trying to set their haunt apart from others. So uh, yeah, like I said, stay tuned. Hopefully yes. it'll be uh, something cool. Yes, exactly. And that was the Fall Informer. I'm John from The Haunt Informer. And I'm Glenn from Fall Ritual. And see you next time. And until next time, happy hauntings.